A dial that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny swings into theaters this weekend, and it's already dug up a solid $7.2 million in previews at the North American box office. The long-awaited next installment in the action-adventure franchise is pacing to open to $65 million or more over the June 30th through July 2nd weekend in advance of the 4th of July holiday. But I've been looking for this all my life. The fifth and final chapter in the Indiana Jones series once again sees Harrison Ford return as the swashbuckling archaeologist. Back at the film's Los Angeles premiere, Ford reflected on his experience playing the iconic character over the years while speaking to The Hollywood Reporter. I appreciate the, uh, all of the opportunities the character has given me. I have, uh, I have been very grateful and I have enjoyed myself for the 42 years we've been making this. The success of this, this, these movies have really given me not only the, uh, you know, the, uh, a chance to satisfy a broad audience, but they've given me a freedom because of their success. They've given me freedom in my chosen profession. The 80-year-old actor stars opposite Phoebe Waller-Bridge in the new film. Waller-Bridge spoke to THR about her character, Helena Shaw. She's a complicated character, you know, you don't know if you're supposed to love her or hate her. Um, and, you know, she has a nefarious agenda and she's, she's an enemy to, to uh, Indy. Uh, well, she's a friend and then she's an enemy, then she's a friend, then she's an enemy. And it's nice to be playing someone who's kind of um, morally ambiguous. So I hope that she takes the audience on a ride. And I hope by the end they see some of her heart and they see what's underneath it all. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is a sequel to 2008's Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which posted a three-day debut of $100 million 15 years ago. For the latest box office news and numbers, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.